going to continue posting early whitetail action footage going back 20 years. In this video I'm going to introduce my uncle. He has been hunting with me since the beginning and we have shared many great hunts over the years. These are just a few of them. Heading Here back is Randy. My uncle Randy picked up his buck. He shot a nice 10 point buck last night. We went and looked at it already but it was raining so now we're cracking open the camera. We're going to go back there and show you guys what it looks like. that bad boy up man. That's what he looks like. Tell us what happened. This buck I shot yesterday afternoon. Uh, he come in with a bunch of does. Um, I had a chance of another eight point buck but he wouldn't give me the, the chance to take him. But I'm glad. This buck come in 10, 15 yards. And I sink the arrow in him. Went right through him. Caught him in the front shoulder, high. Come up through his guts. Tom and I, I called Tom later on that night. And we both went out to see if we can get him. We kicked him up out of his bed. And here we are. We got him this morning. Now you guys get in oh. here. <laughs> well, we're here this morning with my Uncle Randy. He shot this buck last night. We come out here last night and looked for it. We kicked him out of his bed. That was about 75 yards from the stand. He went another 75 yards and he piled up. Made a nice shot on him. Nice, uh, 10 point buck here. He's got some discoloration on his nose. He's got a white nose there and his horns are discolored. But <clears throat> what we're doing, we, we video our own huts here and we thought it'd be good to, to show you guys what my uncle did. Did a good job here on this nice 10 point. He's helped us out a lot. So it's good to see him finally get something like this. Nice buck. Beautiful. Man, yeah, thank you guys for helping me. You bet. That's what I like, like to see, huh? Big buck in the back of the truck. Look at that. Look at that nose. Oh my cow. How you feeling now? Pretty good. <laughs> Top of the world. I haven't felt like that in a while. I miss that. Last year was the first year that I felt that good when I shot a nice buck that we did last year. And then getting another one, that's even better. Right. You're running out of wall space. <laughs> yeah. I never run out of wall space. Never. Build an addition. Well. <laughs> just for the head mode. I just got lucky. That's why I was in the right place at the right time. Just got lucky. That's all it is. Just pure luck, isn't it? No. No, oh, yeah. You knew what you were doing. You sat there for a reason. That was just a. That was just a. I don't know. That was just a last-minute thing to do. I mean, who'd want to sit? Actually, right where they're it was, eating. It was just some fine-tuning, as all it was. You knew where they were coming out there. You just. Uh, well, it's their food. I mean, I kind of had an idea they're coming to the acorns, you know. But I didn't, I thought it was done with. I thought the acorn thing was done with. Get caught on you getting there, Randy. Nice buck, man. Nice buck, Randy.
time to focus in on it. Oh, we'll be right back. Maybe some more does of them in. We just doubled. Randy shot a doe 30 yards, poked out of the corner. I was just asking him if he wanted to get down and go find his deer, and I looked over and here come this doe. And I took his bow, I'm shooting his bow. She come out 20 yards, I <laughs> took her heart out, she dropped. 30 yards from where I shot her, <laughs> doubled up. What we're doing is we're <laughs> trying to be quiet like <laughs> Look at those deer coming out down there. We're doing early, early season. It's late August, and we seen one a buck come out actually earlier before he shot that doe, and he was in velvet. A little bit ago, a little six-pointer come out out of velvet, and we're we're out here just shooting. We're just shooting does for crop damage tag for the farmer. This is you couldn't ask for any any better practice before the season opener. Two does down. <laughs> Just like that, and we were out here all week having no luck. I missed one last night. That was the same way. I had to get down on my knees to shoot that one too, because there's branches. I, I had to get down like this I to shoot. That. I seen that. And I used your 10-yard pin, and I hit a little bit low. I'll walk out and retrieve my deer. I think it's it'd be pretty easy to find her, and then we'll go in and get Randy's deer. So let's go see her. like getting the first deer of the year three weeks before season. <laughs> Let's go see what she looks like. It came out. No, that's where I did it. Look at that. Right in her heart. Took her heart right out of her. <clears throat> well there's my doe. We're gonna go in here and find Randy's. Find the deer. There. Yep, there's my arrow. Smoked right through her. Look at the blood on that, Tom. <laughs> Just walked there, good one. She didn't go far with that shot. No. We heard her fall down. Alright, where did we <laughs> crash right over here? Yeah, we can hear a crash around here. I hit it a little far back. Yeah. But the way the angle the way I shot it was like this. So it did pretty good, I think. Well, I'll help you drag her up to the field and then we'll video her. Flip her around and see where that arrow comes out.
nasty. Yeah, the middle of the body. Got her in the lung. She must have been walking too a little bit. Mm -hmm. We got her down. Two does. We finally got 10 minutes after I shot mine, Tom got his with my bow. That's amazing what them broadheads do, huh? Yeah. That's good. We got we got two down. And we got a bunch more to go. Well, let's get these out of here. Yep. Get these tagged. Get them out of here. Yeah. Get your binoculars, you'll see him. On the what side of it? Right side? Now he's running. To the left side of it. He's Which almost he running? To the left. He's to that far pine way in the back there. He's in that brush. That big humongo pine back there? No, you know where the great big one is? Right in front that of it? That pine to the right, yeah. To the pine to the right where that swamp is. He went down into there. He was at least an 8 or a 10. But he was big. <clears throat> yeah. I think we needed your rattling horse. Oh. I think there's some time I can go get him. Would it be worth it? He was big, Randy. No doubt about it. He was he was running going the other way. Which way? That way there? No, left. That way. You, see, you know where the, the pine you said you seen him by? Right by. there. That pine right there. Yeah. See that far pine way in the back where that swamp is? It's inside that swamp? Yeah. He went into there. That small stubby pine. You told me. I bet you if I brought that growler over too. They just can't hear that. That growler they would have. Oh, I mean the grunt call in the can. He heard me grunt. He turned and looked. Think so? Yeah, he turned and looked. He was running though. He was on a mission. He wasn't running from over there though. No, but he was running when I seen him. There go must be some does over there. Maybe. I don't know how quick can you get down and get your horns. Because if he's messing around up in there for a while, you know, and they ended up chasing him this way. What do you think? It's up to you how fast. If you can get there in 10 minutes and back, I'd do it. had a big buck run three four hundred yards all the way across the swamp on that ridge and he forgot his horns he's gonna run back to the truck take him ten minutes to get him he'll be right back
just a young buck. Yep. Big eight pointer. This way. He went in that low spot, I can't see him no more. He was, he was running with her. Can't hear it. I think she died around the road. What do you think? That was pretty cool. She she died on the road, didn't she? Let's go get her off of there. Should we go get her off? Of yeah, hurry up. I think she was further back, wasn't she? Huh? I think she was back further. I think she was like up and standing in here somewhere. Right there, Sandy. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. Oh, she's in the middle. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right through time. Yeah. I figured I'd better I figured I'd better break my curse. Yeah. Let's do it.
Put in the wet header. Put in. <laughs> this is where I put her. She I died see. over there. Yeah, I figured I'd take a big go. Yeah, why not? Huh? Why not? Why not? Yeah, she's a big one, ain't she? Good shot. <laughs> right behind the shoulder. Mm -hmm. On the other side, directly behind the shoulder. How about the big bucks over there? Oh, we've seen uh, what? Two, uh, two big ones? Yeah. Get your two big ones over there. We're going to try to move the stand. Closer to over there. There's a bunch of does out there, a bunch of couple of little bucks out there. Two two dandy bucks out there. So we gotta try something. Maybe I should have left it for the bucks coming too. No, she still had another buck falling, so she wasn't wasn't in. There was all kinds of does across, so I don't think one of them. No, because uh, he's he's had quite a few of them over there by his stand, so he was gonna take a doe, but he never had a chance to. So. Mm -hmm. I think he got her. Mm -hmm. I think he wouldn't be. Is he about 250? What, Owens? No, I don't think he weighed that, did he, Tom? 260. You gonna mount him? No. He's not. Well, uh, you gonna mount him? Yes, of course. You are. How come you don't just pack him? I couldn't find it, Tom did. Because well, you, you don't look for you wander. don't look for blood, you just go wandering or around. You go wander. Like I Dad of, does. I, well, because it was raining, I didn't think there was any blood there. You know, I thought maybe he just went in a little bit in the woods and dropped dead, but yeah, he did go in the woods a little ways and dropped dead. But Tom got on that blood trail. Holy crap! Blood good. Which way did he go in? Where'd you shoot it? Oh, right on the field? Come right out there, huh? Come across the road. Oh, he come across the road. It was raining like a mother, too. They like that when it rains. I was just crying. Then I got wounded by some does. And then he came out? Well, I turned around and grabbed my bow and get out of there. What do you mean you were going to get out of there? I was just soaking wet and then the doze knew I was there. And then you're going to leave? I was going to get out of there and I turned around and there he started. <laughs> yeah. And then a doe come right over my head and I stand in the first place. He stood right there and you didn't know. They're hard to hear. I didn't hear him come through. The oak, the way I had it. You yeah. know how a big oak tree I take yeah. there? I had it face there, but every time we'd go out there, we'd have deer looking at us, huh, Tom? Mm -hmm. Well, that's about where you guys were shooting them does a couple years ago. Yeah. So I took it and moved the stand down, probably about, I don't know, five yards. And then I had it facing that way again, but then we still got nailed. So I took it and I turned the stand to the side of the tree, facing, facing the, uh, north. So what are you gonna do now while they sit down here and stare at this? He's scared now. Why don't you put him in the sun, let him get knee hard. <laughs> Let them dry out. Over here, get them in the sun. Let them dry out. Let them drink. D hard.